Former Governor John Rowland has been named in a federal court as a conspirator in an illegal corruption investigation that has now resulted in two guilty pleas. Former 5th District Republican congressional candidate Lisa Wilson Foley and her husband have pleaded guilty to conspiring with the former governor to hide illegal campaign expenditures. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us live with the latest on this. Mark. Hi, Anna Keith. Good evening, everyone, from the Hartford Newsroom. Yeah, there now appears to be no way for the former governor, who's a convicted felon, to avoid another day in court. I am not going to be discussing the recent news and legal developments. I'm sure that you all understand. Federal prosecutors appear to be circling ever closer tonight around the former governor turned radio talk show host. Former 5th District Republican congressional candidate Lisa Wilson Foley has pleaded guilty to conspiring with Rowland to secretly and illegally pay him $35,000 to work on her failed campaign two years ago. Rowland boosted her campaign on the radio and disparaged the then leading Republican candidate, now Superior Court Judge Andrew Rohrbach. It appears there is no way for the former governor to avoid some sort of prosecution. It would make him a two-time loser. It was just 10 years ago this June that he resigned under threat of impeachment and later pleaded guilty to federal corruption charges that resulted in him serving close to a year in federal prison. In a text response to whether he would make a statement regarding the latest developments, Rowland simply replied, no. Mike Clark is the former FBI agent that helped convict Rowland 10 years ago. He was also one of five Republican candidates for Congress two years ago, and he was the one that blew the whistle on the conspiracy. Four of the five played fair. They played by the rules. And one of the campaigns decided that they weren't going to play by the rules, and they were willing to lie and cheat. Emails revealed in federal court indicate that it was Rowland that wanted his pay kept secret, violating federal election laws. Clark, who says he has no contact with those investigating this case, says he knows why the Department of Justice is pursuing this. Because the public trust is important, and in an election, uh, whether you're rich or poor, the, the people expect a level playing field. And in this case, uh, the, the playing field got slanted a, a bit. Our Governor Malloy today called on CBS, the owners of WTIC AM radio, to remove Roland from the air. A spokesperson for WTIC said in a statement today that they are monitoring the situation closely. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.